The snow, ice, and all that salt, well, it takes its toll on the roads. The taxes that you pay at the pump and at the DMV are supposed to go toward road repairs and other road projects. But Brandon Lewis spent the day digging through a new report out from the state controller's office, which claims that only 22% of highway taxes actually go to improving the roads that you drive on. And Brandon, where's the rest of the money going then? Well, Dory, the controller says the money is still going to the roads, but for more day-to-day -day work like snow removal and DMV operations. On days like today, it's certainly understandable why we'd want all available resources out clearing the roads, but he says that's short-sighted and it's digging us into a hole for it tomorrow. Snow plows and workers kept busy clearing snow from area roadways. It's a service that most would call essential, but the controller is questioning where the funding is coming from. We're paying many of those costs through the dedicated fund. The function is absolutely essential, but we should not be using a long-term capital fund to pay those costs. Back in the 90s, the legislature created a dedicated highway and bridge fund. Anytime you fill up your tank, pay the DMV, DOT, or even just pay your taxes, you pay into the fund to the tune of nearly $4 billion. Its intent was to pay for long-term repairs on infrastructure, but the controller estimates less than a quarter actually does. The rest goes to debt and day-to-day -day work like snow removal and DMV operations. We know that we are always going to need uh, well-built highways, safe bridges, and, and a good infrastructure overall. So we need to have a steady stream of revenue for that because in the year-to-year uh, -year budget process, sometimes the concentration is on immediate resources. The state's Division of Budget disputes the controller's report, saying in a statement it misrepresents reality because the state dedicated nearly a billion dollars to long-term infrastructure through New York Works and other programs adding if the dedicated fund stood alone, we'd all pay more in gas tax. The controller's report recommends a comprehensive review of all funding mechanisms like New York Works to ensure the future of roads. We need to do a better job of knowing what are the assets that we currently have, what is the condition of those assets, and what do we need to be doing in the coming year, five, ten years down the road, to make sure that we will always have a, uh, a safe and reliable transportation system. The controller says in the upcoming budget, it projects a small increase in the money that will go toward long-term projects. The rest is expected to continue going to those more day-to-day -day functions. Live in the studio, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.